Yes, indeed. Welcome, world. Ecushion is here. This is lesson number eight of our second trimester in 2024. Big shout out to NGO Radio Terra. Big shout out to Tamburo Drums. Big shout out to Rolling Corporation. And uh, just in general, all of the great people that sponsor and support the show. This is a weekly series for all ages and all levels of music enthusiasts and students alike. And we foster caring for each other and foster caring about this music. We aim to impart all of the knowledge that we've collected over our vast and storied careers to you. All right, let's begin the session. So here in lesson eight, we're gonna be talking about some concepts that I think we could use towards building up our self-confidence and growing into becoming the best performers and professionals that we can be. A lot about what we do is about growth. It's about guaranteeing our growth so that we can find even greater forms of success and self-expression. A way that we can identify where we have been and where we're going is by looking at this simple equation that happens to be quite profound, which is performance equals potential minus self-interference, right? Performance equals potential minus self-interference. And I know that we've all been there. We've all been a part of potentially self-sabotaging. We've all been a part of procrastination. We have culpability in whatever it is that happened in the past that we potentially could have helped. We have to take responsibility for that so that our next performance is better. And one of the ways that I improve my performance is I tape myself. I record everything. And I have proudly gotten over the hump of being so insecure about how I sound or how insecure I am about the way I come across on recordings that I am now growing and I'm now able to see a much brighter future for my potential. It, this is something that's called the faculty of imagination. And we have this as children and as we grow into adulthood, life sort of drains it out of us, beats it out of us. The ability to understand uh, and, and give a, an image to emerging patterns when only a few disparate parts are present or laid before us. That is faculty of imagination. So we have to sort of have this faculty of imagination for ourselves. This, um, this harkens back to what is, what is it that we are doing that is self-interference that's getting in the way of our performance, right? Because if performance equals potential minus self-interference, then we know that we are raw potential and when we perform, it can be as great as it could possibly be if we don't get in our own way. So let's look and have these conversations with ourselves. What are we refusing to look at? What are we refusing to face? How have I changed? How have you changed? What do I want for myself? What is my why for playing? What is my why for creating? Have we caught up with ourselves? And I think this is a really important thing to do is when I listen to myself playing or performing or I listen to a DJ set back, this is like me catching up with myself. I'm like catching up with an old friend to see what's been going on. How have we been doing? What is our progress like? I think that if we can get into these conversations, which I think are quite courageous conversations, let's call them courageous conversations. If, if we can have these courageous conversations with ourselves, then our experience of growth will be much more like a ripening than a shock to the system. So in these conversations of courage, in these courageous conversations, what are we telling ourselves? What our self-talk is like is very much going to color and shade our own life experience. Some of these courageous conversations result in some very difficult ones, some very difficult catch-ups with myself that require a lot of honesty and sometimes honesty doesn't feel good, but it's necessary, it's important. 
right? This is about what it is I'm not willing to look at or what it is, what it is that I haven't been willing to face in my own practice routine. Maybe it is uh, in your interface with your bandmates. Or maybe it's how you interface with your private instructor wherever you live. Those conversations result in some self-talk that can be conf confrontational. And sometimes confrontational self-talk can be distilled or come down to negativity. And so we want to temper this negative self-talk with positive self-talk. We want to make a list about ourselves, a list of things, attributes about ourselves that we like. Even if it's just two things, we want to lock onto those two things and we want to go ahead and acknowledge ourselves for those two things. We want to realize that we're doing something right and we want to go ahead and validate that and have that check-in. I think these conversations can release creativity, they can release, release imagination, they can release energy that is really necessary for us to move forward. Yeah, so pick two things that you like about yourself and think about that and allow yourself to have a conversation with yourself about those things and watch the chemistry of your own self-talk change by way of acknowledging the things that exist that are quality and positive and temper that with questions and conversations of courage and honesty about what it is that you could grow in. We have to continue to reinvent ourselves periodically so that we can grow and thrive. We have to think outside of the box. And so therefore, we have to think about and be reflective on how we've been talking to ourselves and how we've been self-interfering. Once we do that, we can release this energy and we can take the first steps towards true growth and true harmony in any medium, in any creative medium. But it is truly about identifying what has come before so that we can see what is now possible. Again, performance equals potential minus self-interference. And we need to look at what kind of self-interference can we take responsibility for and remove that. So our performances can just be pure, raw potential of greatness. Again, I want to reiterate the faculty of imagination, the ability to understand and give vision to emerging patterns with just a few disparate parts laid before you. Looking into the horizon, thinking into the horizon, this can help you project your own sense of identity and help you project your own positive image into the future of what it is that you want to be, who it is that you want to be, what it is you want to sound like, how successful you want to be. And that doesn't guarantee success for us, but this does guarantee that along our path towards that, that system, that systematic vision, a much more peaceful and a much more mentally stable and positive experience. We all do self-interference and we have all to take responsibility for self-sabotage when we do it. Let's be present. Let's have these conversations these courageous conversations. Let's analyze where it is that we're having negative self-talk. Let's be realistic. And let's continue to reinforce positive messages about ourselves. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. This is lesson number eight. This is the mental art of drumming. I'm Ecussionist. Thank you so much, NGO Radio Terra, Tamboro Drums, Roland Corporation, Proel International. See you next time.